Hey Run Junkies, welcome back to the Journey to Triathlon series where we are gonna talk about open water swimming. Since most triathlon races are centered around a lake, reservoir, or other open body of water, we wanna make sure we are prepared for that by doing a couple of open water swims during our training. Now this is different, obviously, than swimming in a pool in a controlled environment. So as we take our swims and our workouts, out to that open body of water, there are a couple of things we want to keep in mind. First off, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, you wanna make sure you have someone nearby to keep an eye on you, either swimming alongside you or someone on shore to keep an eye on you in case you run into trouble. Now, a lifeguard is ideal, but that often means that you would have to swim within the boundaries of whatever the lifeguard is responsible for. If there isn't a lifeguard around, make sure you have someone, fam friend or family member, somewhere nearby it within shouting distance if you need them. Now this is where I like to do my open water swims. Here on Lake Geneva from this pier to that one way off in the distance. I'm swimming out of bounds of the lifeguard but I have plenty of family and friends here in this area to keep an eye on me when I swim. The other issue like in this case is boat traffic. As you can see there are a lot of piers along the route and a lot of boat traffic on the day that I did this swim. So being seen is in the water is crucial for safety. I wear a bright green swim cap that stands out against the dark water, and when possible, I swim when there's less boat traffic out there. Now swimming in an open water route like this or whatever you're gonna be doing on race day, it brings with it its own challenges. So for example, how do you swim in a straight enough line to know where you're going? So with the freestyle stroke that I showed you in an earlier video, you wanna start breathing bilaterally, meaning breathing on either side. So take three strokes, breathe to one side, take three more strokes, breathe to the other side. And as you alternate, which side you're breathing on, you might occasionally lift your head and sight a target out in the distance. So in this case, I would sight the boat pier and keep the buoys, the for the boats out on my right side. Now it's very important to look up once in a while. In a race day scenario, you will be swimming with other people, so basically follow the crowd. However, a race organization will have uh, buoys, triangular buoys more than likely, every 100 meters or so. So you can sight each one of those. Also, it's highly likely that there will be a pre-race briefing where the race director or someone else involved with the organization of that race will tell you which side Side you want to keep the boys on and how frequently the bo those boys occur. Now when we swim in the pool we have a side to push off every 25 meters or yards or 50 meters or yards whichever your pool happens to be. Basically what that does is it gives your arms a quick break and it gives you a little boost in speed. But when you are swimming in open water that's not the case. More often than not, you just don't have that opportunity, which means your arms are constantly working. This is something to get used to because if you are giving yourself a break every tw 25 meters, you might find that an open water swim may fatigue you faster. So when you do an open water swim, you're giving yourself a really good benchmark of how long that swim might take you on race day. As I've mentioned in a previous video, wetsuits are a nice to have, but certainly not a need to have. If you don't wanna make the investment in a wetsuit, you can rent them from either places online or through your local either running store or multi-sport store, maybe even a cycling shop will have wetsuits available for you. And if you're not sure, get in touch with the race organizer. Sometimes they have rental suits available if you want to go that route. And it's a much less expensive option than to invest in a wetsuit. You also wanna try practicing getting in and out of the wetsuit. If you rent a wetsuit, it's possible that you'll have it the day before, so that's someplace to something to try as you get ready for race day. I would also recommend Tri-Glide. This is a silicon spray that you can spray on your legs and arms to help get that wetsuit on very easily. And that wetsuit might be the difference that gives you the confidence boost you need in the water. And like I've said, I am an experienced swimmer. I've been swimming my whole life and even at Lake Geneva. And sometimes I still get apprehensive and there is fear involved in open water swimming. We may think of it as an irrational fear, but it's really not. It's primal instinct kicking in. It's that fight or flight 
that what we feel is there's something in the water that's going to get us. We are putting our face in the water, something that is completely unnatural as a human being. And the way we override that primal instinct is to breathe, just breathe. When we breathe, we get oxygen to our brains. That oxygen allows our brains to function properly. It helps us think. Nerves are okay. It's perfectly normal to be nervous on race day. It still happens to me all the time. But when you are getting into that fear piece of it, just breathe. You can get by that by breathing. Now lastly, to get over that apprehension on race day, you might do a quick warm up once you're all ready to go before the race start, just jump in the water, do just a few strokes, just get that apprehension out. So when you hit the water on the start line, you are ready to go and you have calmed down a little bit more. Now the bottom line is this, the open water swim is the closest thing you can get to simulate race day conditions. You simply can't do this in a pool if your race day is going to be out on open water. So try to get a couple of open water swims in during the course of your training and you will be much more prepared for race day. My question for you today is this, we are only five weeks away from my race day at Outdoor Divas Sprint Triathlon, but what do you think? Am I talking you into this at all? Are you at all interested? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Next week, we are talking about biking on open roads, so please come back next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, go find your awesome, and happy running.